Hey guys, so this is another first impressions video and this time around is for Nightingale and I did get the hero actually this time uh, But I wasn't really trying I just did a 10 pull and I got her just like that Oh my god, my, my summons lately has been really good actually, but sadly I can't summon now guys. Sorry Oh my god. Uh, anyway, let's talk about her skill real quick here Average P usually pretty good Deals 360% damage to all enemies. Converts four non-blue Nadia stones into Nadia mana stones. Pretty awesome. Blue is pre I think blue is the best color for creating stones and creating mana with them. And adding another hero like this is pretty amazing. When defending restores 20 mana to all blue allies. Remember that uh uh, the amount of mana you need to go up on on, on the power for different uh, levels. In other words, a very slow hero is 180, and very fast is 60. So if you're giving 20 mana to like an average speed hero, maybe, maybe that would be like a 20% additional uh, mana in that situation. So if you combine her with Alia, that would be pretty freaking amazing. Uh, giving her mana and probably Tara and all that good stuff. That is a really powerful combination. I'm pretty scared if somebody uh, makes that combination for sure. And reduces attack cooldown by two turns. And grants Serenity to the caster for three turns. Finally, <laughs> our mod Serenity has been added to the game. <laughs> uh, pretty much, uh, uh, most likely unintentionally, but still, I'll take it. Serenity has been added to the game. I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, grad serenity. That's so cool. Passive. Each turn begins, converts two non-blue Nadja stones into Nadja mana stones. So you get additional w when you actually do this in the beginning of each turn. Beginning of each turn, you're going to give 10 mana to all your blue heroes. So this this hero looks really awesome for a mono blue team, for sure. When the fighting restores their mana, stun allies have a 30% chance. 50% chance for blues to gain serenity for one turn and recovers 10 additional mana when that actually happens. Okay, yeah, th that's going to speed up your blue team for sure. And if you didn't know what serenity is, removes and grants immunity to stun for stun effect. So in other words, stun. So I, I was wondering if stun also includes other types of stuns like silence, sleep, and all that good stuff, but most likely no. But since I haven't really seen it in, in, in action specifically, I can't really say for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's just stuns. Like stuns, like the, the ones that you're not able to remove no matter what you do to the enemy unless you have immunity to it. So yeah, we're going with that for now, guys, for sure. Now, for the Awakenings, the plus one enha uh, enhanced passive. Stun allies has a 50% chance, 100% chance for blues for uh, to gain serenity. So, yeah, this this is an incredibly powerful one because you're, you're no longer get, having for 50. Now it's a 100% chance. So, yeah, if you're going to use a mono blue team with, with this chick, you're going to have to get this for sure. This is really freaking powerful. This makes it like... Like a straight up counter to to stuns specifically new passive when an ally or enemy is stunned heals all allies restoring hp equal to 10 percent of the caster's mass hp so that's part of the reason why her weapon raises hp it's gonna give more healing in that situation and uh yeah i already did some testing and for now pr probably they're gonna change that but for now in f1 she does heal so it's super freaking annoying yeah in f1 so if, if you're if you're wondering if she heals in f1 she does heal in f1 yeah, when the developers know about this, they're probably going to change that for sure. I, I, they've changed it so many times. It's happened so many times before. I wouldn't be surprised there. But yeah, this is really freaking interesting. Plus two is attack defense HP by 8%. Takes 20% less damage from purple uh, enemies. That is interesting. A blue hero that, that takes 20% less damage from purples. Uh, I'm thinking that 
that that has something to do with her story. I have to read her story. Lucky for me, I do have the hero in this case. <laughs> and the plus three, when taking a fatal blow, becomes immune to that for three turns, restoring 100% HP. A lot of heroes are being released like this. If they die, they're going to restore 100% HP, and we got to try, try to kill them all over again. Like, everybody's becoming, like, as powerful as Mildred and the plus three lately, so that is really freaking powerful. Really freaking cool. And now, this is the this is the the actual skill or, or ability from Awakenings that that has me worried. Increases the attack and defense of all allies by ten percent and ten percent respectively, reducing damage taken from stronger elements by ten for five turns, stacking up to five times. What? What? What the freak? Oh my god! I mean, I I, I read this the, these abilities and, and and I didn't really honestly I'm, I didn't really pay much attention to it. So when I went and attacked on in 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 war like with a green team, I was like, what is going on here? The, I, I have 10 stacks on the enemy. I'm stronger than the enemy. Why the, in, in the world is, is are they not dying? And this is the answer, guys. I mean, this is the real deal. You're going to have 50% at, uh, attack, which is not like base stats. It's all of the stats raised by by this this amount. Raises the defense by 50%. It's going to be 50%. And on top of that, uh, str uh, pretty much stronger elements by 50% as well. So, yeah. If you think you're going to try to use, like, like, um like uh gillian uh with, with turning them green and all that good stuff they're still gonna get the 50 percent uh, pr protection from this so this is really freaking powerful stuff guys very powerful stuff you have no idea how powerful and, and game breaking um not not game breaking uh advantages uh that this will give you in this situation very powerful stuff guys uh, I'll, I'll show you a video about that in a second the plus four is the same as plus two. And the plus five. When Nightingale is in battle, her allies become immune to death and recover 20% mass HP, unaffected by healing, reducing effects when taking a fellow board. So pretty much is the same the, the same ability uh, from Athena, but the big difference is that they become immortal. That's the big difference. Because with Athena, you do revive and gain like 25% mana, if I'm not mistaken. But you're not immortal. So if you keep on hitting her, uh, hitting the target with with, uh, with an Athena in play, they're going to die. But not this time. The, this gal gains the, gains the HP, but the, but the actual hero becomes in, immune to death in that situation. So that's an actual upgrade. That's, an, that's a more powerful... Uh, revival ability than Athena in that situation. So that is really freaking powerful. If you fought again against Athena, you know that this is freaking annoying. You finally you finally bypassed this insane ability and then you have to kill them all over again. Yeah, that is that is really powerful stuff guys. It's not even funny. Oh yeah. Very very powerful stuff guys. So let's talk First of all, let me show you my footage of me attacking with my green team, a mono blue team. Me thinking like, like, uh, oh, this is going to be easy. She has 10 stats, 10 or whatever. I think it was 11, 12 stacks or something like that. And I thought I was going to beat them. And uh, uh, just see for yourself.
by the purifying powers of water. Listen to the sound of nature. Savages must be punished by the purifying powers of water. I love my patience the most. Give me strength on my side. So yeah, that happened. I, w I was like, what is going on here? So after I investigated, that plus three awakening, the raising all their stats so high, and at the same time doing prevention, yeah, uh, for prevention from, from stronger element, yeah, that, yeah, that is too powerful, guys. You you have to think of another way to beat uh, mono blue teams now with this chick around. Yeah, if she's plus three and she on the team, is going to be a big problem for you guys, for sure. So I have one more footage uh, of her, and that is her on the attack, and uh, yeah, with the, with the red team. So obviously you're going to uh, expect for a blue team to beat a uh, uh, mono red team, but usually mono blue team doesn't do very well uh, with... Uh uh, with blue, if uh, mono red team doesn't go, do very well with blues, if, if you can imagine. But with her abilities to be able to prevent damage dealt to weaker elements, that actually gives give blue now an advantage versus blue teams. Because if you get turned to green, you're gonna prevent 50% of that damage, and you're gonna get 50% def extra defense. So that is a big, big boost. So 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 your greens don't die. But you will notice that. Even so, your green heroes will get stunned because they're not blue anymore. So I only have a 50% chance to get Serenity there. So I'm going to demonstrate that that one now. And thank you very much, Grant, for this one. This is a good demonstration. Check it out.
So yeah, guys, that that is actually pretty impressive. Um, I remember me using blue versus roses red, and yeah, I, I usually get destroyed when I get to turn to green. But now with Nightingale's plus three, you're actually able to survive that. So that is really freaking impressive. And creating stones and healing and all, all that good stuff and all that. And, and just in case that things go crazy, you get to revive with the plus three. So that is really, I'm sorry, with the plus five. So that is really pretty impressive impressive in my opinion let's talk about her weapon real quick why is the machine so big oh my god what was that <laughs> nightingale all right uh weapon so gains shield equal to 25 percent of matt's hp or 50 percent of nightingale for three turns when casting this go this is a good weapon for her she's gonna get a bunch of shields in that case and the hp refinement is useful because the more hp she has the more shields she's gonna create for her and uh, healing for the rest of the team. So that's not bad. But if you already have other weapons. Of like Alia's weapon. Raphael's weapon. Percival's weapon. You can use those weapons instead. They're all very useful in this case. Percival's weapons. Uh, it may be a little less. Because you, you're only going to get 25%. And in that case. You might as well just get her own weapon. To get 50% uh, HP. But uh, outside of that. Alia's weapon is good. Raphael's weapon is good. Pretty much all the all the weapons that usually use uh, for shields is is going to be useful. If you want her to go off a lot, you can give her Fiona's weapon in that case as well. So that that's a pretty good weapon in, in that case too. Uh, but yeah, you're you are gonna want her to be alive. So most likely you are gonna want her to to have. Um, a shield weapon for sure because if you're if you have a blue team and uh you have her at plus three and she dies that's pro probably going to be the end of your blue team on defense for sure so that's something we have to take into account for sure guys all right guys so do i think that nightingale is a must have hero well the only uh all right she is definitely 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 not a must-have hero in my opinion however however if you have a blue team especially if you want to have a blue team on defense and specifically you want to survive versus red teams on the attack nightingale is a must-have for you for sure 100 percent uh yeah um mo i'm more leaning into must have territory but if you if, for example there are people in this game that don't play blue I mean, and if they want to start off uh, like a mono blue team and they only have a few heroes, only have Nightingale, uh, that's not going to be very helpful for them because they're going to have probably have to use heroes of other colors. But on defense, her her buffs for 50% attack and defense and, and damage dealt, uh, that is actually rage for the entire freaking team. Ugh. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards must-have territory, but I need to see more. But for now, not must-have. But if you are going to plan to use mono blue on, on defense, and, and especially on defense, and on the attack, sure, it's a must-have for you. I'm gonna go for that for for now, and the sweet spot for I mean, the sweet spot for her, I, the plus one. You have to get the plus one. The, the, these new heroes are pretty freaking amazing, and I'm noticing that every single time the plus one is needed for them to actually perform very nicely, and this is no exception. Because if you if you're going to have this hero in a mono blue team, you want to have the stun immunity for 100. percent Stuns are incre incredibly powerful ability, but not everybody has it. So that's one of the reasons why I said it's not a must-have hero. If stuns were like literally everywhere, every single time you play in PvP, in PvE, and things like that, I was like, okay, you 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 need this in that case. But uh, for now, I'm gonna say, yeah, uh, uh, it's not a must-have. But the plus one, you're you're definitely gonna need it. You can't play this hero at plus zero. At plus zero, you're pretty much doing playing all the colors at 50% of plus one, if you know what I mean. Now, the sweet spot by far is the plus three. Uh, um, forget about the whole immunity thing for a second. This is game-changing stuff, guys. With this, you're able to do so many things. It's not even funny. Yeah, uh, this is definitely the sweet spot for sure. This ability is going to make your defense team 
upgrade so much. It, it Do notice that it doesn't say that it has to be a blue team. It's any hero that you have your team. So even though you don't get the full protection for the stuns, you're going to get the full protection from everything else in this case. So that's pretty freaking amazing. And the course of plus five is an upgraded version to Athena's Awakening. So that's self-explanatory. This is pretty crazy. This is pretty freaking powerful. I did see somebody ask, uh, saying that uh, I won't get this hero unless it has a uh, revival. So this, you got it. You got it, man. At plus five. Really powerful stuff, guys, for sure. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I am going to continue uh, testing this hero because uh, I really like what I'm seeing. She's She she has so many synergies with so many uh, key blue heroes, specifically Taran and Alia. Having those three on the team, oh, my God, that is going to be freaking freaking sick, guys. <laughs> but, I, but as I said, I haven't seen it yet, so I won't comment on it until I've seen it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please leave it in the comments, and we'll talk about it. All right? Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.